look at that. A full-blown city. We've built all of that and some you can't even see within two months. Imagine this place a year from now. And where I'm standing now is where we plan to expand the city. Yes, all the way out here. And as you can see by this, I am beginning to build a new building. I'm just gonna say right off the bat, this building is big. At least I plan it to be. This is going to be Slime Science. Yes, yes, Slime Science runs everything. But the Slime Science Space Agency. Yes, more space related stuff. So somewhere back here, whoa. Oh, I thought that was a jungle. That's, what? I'm building so far back this way, I'm finally starting to see this random mega taiga. That's nuts. But anyway, this place will have like a launch area in the back, but this building I'm making is specifically going to be for training astronauts per se. Ooh, I want that trade. So we are going to have rooms for anti-gravity. We're gonna have like a big swimming pool and something built in the pool to perform tasks underwater. Also gonna have low gravity areas. We're gonna have simulations of different surfaces such as like the nether surface or the end surface. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at all this quartz I got right here. <laughs> Almost made it to 100 levels just gathering quartz. Yeah, that means we're going to expand the town down here in this valley, um, but up here on this hill is where our space agency is going to be. And the ideas are going crazy in my head right now, so I am looking forward to getting this building built. Alright, so I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, I'm just doing my same technique as the hospital. I'm building the complete outside, then I'll worry about the insides. As you can see, I want it to be a big complex, but very flat, you know? So I want it to cover a big area on the ground and I want it to have very unique architecture. So as you can see, these very randomly placed support beams. Now, as you can see, this wall, it's even gonna be longer than this. Uh, it looks very repetitive. That is because this is going to be a long hallway. Not right here. The glass is gonna go right here. This is like an outdoor walking path, but in here, I want this to be a long hallway. It's gonna be a hallway representing every way you travel in Minecraft. So at the very beginning, I think I'm gonna have a pair of leather boots because that's normally what people start off with. And then we'll move on to, let's say a boat, and then a minecart, then a saddle, elytra wings, and then I'm going to make up my own stuff, like, you know, maybe a jetpack, like the progression through Minecraft traveling. So I'm gonna continue building this, see what else I can get done. I just wanna get the whole complex finished. All right, everybody. I gotta go into my exam real quick. Wow, oh, they have actual chairs here. Why don't I have these crafting recipes back in my area? I traveled pretty far, but I have to take this exam to make my own space agency, so let's get started. Does glass conduct heat better than gold? Wrong. Is a positive charge attracted by another positive charge? No. Do bricks conduct heat well? No. Could you use stone for an electric cable? No. Are you able to pull charged objects with a capacitor? Yes. Do you get pushed towards the center when rotated in a circle? No. Do you need resistance for a circuit to work properly? Yes. Does glazed terracotta conduct heat better than iron? Yes. No, dang it. Do astronauts need to be used to fast rotation? Oh, get used. Yes. Is glass a good electric conductor? No. I passed! Heck yeah! What? <laughs> oh, it's because I got up. All right, thanks! Oh, this is automated. Okay, I gotta get back home. Hey everyone, I have my license now. I can go ahead and build this place more. <laughs> As you can see here, we have a container, which looks like a surface of another planet because it is, I guess. I'm simulating like we found a moon and we recreated it exactly and it's like sealed in a pressurized area. And I'm gonna build another room right here which is like a preparation room and you walk through a sealed door and you perform tests in here. I think I'm gonna put one of you guys in here, just a villager. I don't know how I'll do that though because I'm going to set up a machine in there that they operate on as if they're testing stuff. Um, I believe this is gonna be an office. I already made this hallway, so I gotta put down the stuff on these pedestals. But from this stuff, I have my inventory. This is gonna be another hallway right here, but it's really large as you can tell, because the main door is right here. I'm gonna walk down. I'm gonna have more pedestals, but these are gonna be in the center. And I want to make something out of this stuff. Just gotta figure out how I wanna do it. Is that a good spot? Yeah, that works. We're gonna do four cauldrons. 
anvil, observer, stone button, brewing stand, hopper on top of that, eh, piston right here, lever, hopper into that observer, deep slate wall, iron pressure plate on top of that, two blackstone buttons, and a comparator. Can you guess what this machine does? Absolutely nothing. It's for looks. It's my rocket engine. <laughs> I just tried to make it look as complicated as possible. I don't know how I want the base to look. I don't even know if I want to use andesite. But uh, yeah, it's just a display as you walk into this place. We're gonna have multiple displays. I do not like that. Yeah, we're getting a parking lot. But not for cars. Like I always keep saying, this city is not made for cars, so I'm not gonna have cars in it. Coal, coal, coal. Smelt some of this quartz here. Okay, so, don't know what I showed last, um, but I am making some sort of like footpath parking lot, I guess you can call it. Um, and I really love using this cobbled deep slate, just looks perfect. I'm gonna treat this as if I just built it because, well, I did. But I'm not gonna run through here and put like patches or anything. I want this place to look perfect and pristine. So as you can see here, I love this effect this is giving. I put moss, like stripes, like it just been mowed. Now I think this works, you can still see it if this is like a forest colored grass, but it really shows in this mountain biome. Which I really love the look of that. Anywhere I have grass, I'm gonna have that. Um, but right here is gonna be a pad. I'm going to build a makeshift rocket here. Maybe it's our like first designed rocket being displayed there. And this right here is going to be where the logo is. Now I'm still iffy about this logo. Mainly because, okay, so you know, this place is called Slime Science Space Agency. So I'm gonna need three S's and one A. But then I thought, let's be a little bit creative. So I'm gonna do S3A. I don't know, this might be a little weird. The three is gonna be a little up like that, and then I tr <laughs> trust me, I spent a lot of time in my other world. You would probably come up with something better too. I just came up with this in like 10 minutes. The A is really hard because it's hard to make an A out of blocks, slabs, and stairs when it's capitalized, so I merged it with this, so we're rather going to put a block here. Put the other side of the A here and do something like that. I don't know if I'm gonna use these blocks now that I think of it because it really blends in with the back of the building there. No, I like it. But yeah, I, <laughs> I like it. S3A. I think that could go there. You know what, I kinda like that. It's like modern, it's hard to read, but if you sat and looked at it for a while, you'd make out what it is. I don't know what I'm gonna do up here, but right here, as you can see, I don't know if I'll start today, but I want to design a bridge and this bridge it's gonna cover most of this area, kind of. It's gonna turn eventually, but this is going to be the real slums. People living under the bridges, homes that are run down, and that area over there that was originally gonna be the slums was just gonna be the shipyard. Okay, perhaps I should start working in here a little bit more. Seeing this from the backside, you really realize where I didn't do the detail yet. We're gonna have to get back on that. God, see, how lazy am I? I just flew a rocket from here to here. Come on, Dallas. Where are my moss carpets? Did I miss them? Oh, there they are, okay. So, as you can see, I got some lighting. I put lighting under these stairs here. That looks perfect. Now, I really wanna emphasize, hey Bob, hidden lighting, so in areas like this, all I have to do is that. Yeah, I think that'll be perfect. Oh yeah, look at that, looking good. Is it looking any different? Kind of, maybe. I got a new building there. Got all this parking lot done. Don't have the rocket built yet. Um, but on the inside, I can not for the life of me figure out what I want the floor to be out of. Or even ceiling, I might just go with diorite again, polished diorite and do some fancy designs. But uh, yeah, we got some more display things here and we've got a giant window. I'm gonna make it look fancier. Looks a little bland right now, but as you can see, we have parkour for the astronauts. Yeah, parkour, right? Whoa, what the? I can't even get on this. Why did I do that? Because you gotta flip the lever. It's like a black hole in there, boom. <laughs> and now we have double jump boost. So this is like a, I'm gonna make it look like it is pressurized as well and it's like simulating 
less gravity on another planet, but it can actually be hard at times. Can I do it? Oh, wait. Oh, I'm actually doing it. Oh, yeah. I think it's harder without elytra wings on. Somehow, yeah, somehow elytra wings make it easier, and I don't know how, although I'm kicking butt. Okay, right there. See how weird that was? It looked like I was going to make it, and then I didn't. Thank you. Yeah, okay. That's all I got in here so far. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna have a glass ceiling in here. I'm gonna have normal, like, maybe a domed roof. I could also put some stuff right here, but I haven't decided. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm thinking about wasting a whole beacon. All this freaking gold. Just for a little parkour section I'm never gonna use. So, man, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good idea. Okay, so we have that, that, and I think I'm gonna do one more glass area over here, and I don't think I'm gonna do it today, but it's gonna be a diving area where you do, I'm gonna make it where I perform operations underwater, and then we're going to use this space back here to recreate Mars. I am so excited to do this. This probably won't be done today either. It might be doing next episode. So this is not actually gonna be my launch area either. We're gonna pick another area for that. This is where we train astronauts. So I actually want to recreate the surface of Mars back here and build some rovers. I've actually made a way better design of, well, it's actually the Curiosity rover. It's not Perseverance. If you remember, or if you know, Curiosity rover has like, well, actually, let me show you. Thank you, Madison. It's in here, she said. Yeah, I came all the way back out to this school just to show you this. Control room. Oh, that is what curiosity looks like. Oh, we got some controls here. <gasps> oh, yeah. Do you know what I would I would kill to have this in Minecraft? Are you kidding me? Oh, but yeah, I kind of perfected it in a way um, where my curio or my rover kind of looks more like that. Curiosity has solar panels, a lot of them on the back. And this is how the earlier rovers were actually powered, but the now being used rover on Mars called Perseverance uses nuclear energy, which is pretty crazy to think about. Cool little test, I'm out. Ah, supposedly they didn't trust my astronomy skills, so I gotta go take an exam real quick. I'm here, let's get this over with. Does light exist out of multiple colors? Yes. Should you stand in front of a laser? No. Do big things look similarly big from a large distance? No. Do small things look also small from a distance? Do small things look also small from a distance? Yes. Do big things seem small from a big distance? <laughs> yes. Are lasers unable to cook meat? No. Is there less gravity on the moon? Of course. Is stone affected by low pressure? No. Do astronauts need to be protected from low pressure? Yes. Is the Earth a very big magnet? Yes. I just 100 percented that. Get me out of here. <laughs> what? Stop teasing me like that. I passed. Hey, guys. Sorry I haven't been feeding you, you know, city planning stuff. <laughs> what am I doing out here? I need shadow. And I need... I'm just going to do... Well, let's do diamond. Why not? House still in one piece. Love to see it. Armor trim still here. No one stole them. Good. Ooh, I should use the trims to design a spacesuit. That would be cool. Might try that. I need one of these. Crazy that this was going to be our main launch site. As you know, we still have this rocket in the back. Ooh, I could probably move that rocket to the front over there. It's a little big and girthy, though. Oh my gosh, we still have so much to do. I have some really cool plans down here, guys, though. I've been writing them down. Some cool stuff. Gosh, this place looks so cool from here. We got a lot to do on this place, too. But anyway, uh, let's go to the Hall of Transportation, I guess I'm going to call it. Actually, this hall is going to be called the Academic Hall because you will come through this doorway and head this way because I'm going to make an auditorium at the end where you go to learn, basically. Um, so we are just going to have boots right there. Right here, I'm just going to have a, a boat. Yeah, there we go. A boat. You don't have to use a shovel to craft these anymore. I noticed they changed that. It's kind of nice, I guess. I thought I was unique to bedrock edition but i guess they didn't like it here we're why'd you do that go the other way okay straighten out the rail we're going to put a minecart here there we go i like it right here we're going to have some item frames and just a saddle and horse armor 
And then here, of course, we are going to put some elytra wings. The wall of traveling, I guess. Or the hall of transportation. And then maybe over here now, I could put like a rocket engine or something, but I already built that in here. This is good enough. It's just Minecraft related stuff. I like it. So one thing I want to change, I think. Yeah, this, this hallway, I think I need a skylight in it. How should I do it though? I could do something really unique here. Oh wait, I also gotta remember there's going to be a seal. I need some diorite. Okay. There's something weird with electro wings going on right now. This episode won't be as long as my others most likely. I am gonna have to end it soon as I say that. I am gonna go ahead and answer the comment question of the day as I finish up here. Oh my gosh, we're on episode 548. Next one, we're gonna build the Mars recreation and then world tour and download. Oh gosh. So from Java Vampire, I thought this was a fitting question. If you had the opportunity to go to Mars to live out the rest of your life, would you go? Assuming Elon got it somewhat livable. So I understand Elon's vision. It's very, very out of this world, literally. But there's never going to be, I'm just being honest with you, there's never going to be a case where Mars is quote unquote livable without things that I built last episode in the end, if you saw that episode. Chambers and modules that are built for living creatures like us that have oxygen in them. No, we're not going to nuke the poles of Mars and no, that will not change <laughs> the temperature of Mars. It is simply further from Earth. It's always gonna be a cold planet. There's always going to be like almost no oxygen there. I think there's like 10% oxygen. No, it's like 2% or something like that. I have like no diorite in this world, but you got to think about it. If we had the power to change the climate on Mars, why aren't we doing that with Earth with climate change, you know? Everyone's scared of climate change. If we're so powerful to do that to Mars, why aren't we changing Earth? Anyways, I'm going on- oh my god, I have a lot of diorite in here. I'm going on a tangent. All I'm saying is, is Mars is never going to be in a livable position within our lifetimes. We are going to visit it within our lifetimes though, by the 2030s. But no, I would not choose to live on Mars. And even if I had the opportunity out of some crazy chance, I don't think I could go. There's a lot of requirements to being an astronaut and I have awful eyes. If I take off my glasses or contacts, I can't read the like a giant word five to 10 feet in front of me, it sucks. If you're curious what we are going to be doing on Mars in the next 10 years, we are developing a rocket well, this is purely NASA. They're developing a rocket to retrieve the samples from the Perseverance rover, because if you didn't know, the Perseverance has a system on it that drills into the rocks. They're trying to find out if there's any ancient microbial life within the old riverbeds that used to be there. So Perseverance has this thing where it can collect like 20 to 30 tubes of different samples. But over time, Perseverance drops it on the ground. It leaves a trail of these tubes. Because in future missions, they're going to build some sort of robot that goes through and picks up them tubes, returns it to some sort of land vehicle, rocket, load those on that rocket, and send that rocket back to Earth. It's a very crazy system. I know, when you think about it, but have you seen the Perseverance land on Mars? I'm obsessed with it, by the way. That's why I'm always talking about it. Perseverance went through this thing called the Seven Minutes of Terror because everything was automated. It gets blasted through the atmosphere with just a heat shield blocking off this incinerating heat. Once it gets through the atmosphere, heat shield falls off. Then it starts falling. As it's falling, it's scanning Mars for a good landing spot. Then a boosted lander above the rover ignites its engines and it comes down to a hover. Reminder, this is all automated in a computer. As it's sitting there hovering with four engines blasting, it lowers the rover by a cable to the ground. It disconnects that cable, then that hovercraft just shoots off very far away, away from the rover to go just like blow up because it's not needed anymore. And then the rover's on the ground. If we have the capability to do just that and it's all automated because the time to send signals from Mars to Earth is 11 minutes. So that's why it's called seven minutes of terror. You don't know what's happening until it's all done. <laughs> so that's why all has to be automated. But what I'm saying is if we can do all that, then we're definitely gonna be able to build a system to go retrieve those samples. Wow, I got off topic. No, I don't want to go to Mars. I'm going to leave that to the professionals. <laughs>
Mars is such a hostile environment. There's still so many things we have to advance in uh, before we send people there. That's why it's not going to happen until the 2030s, possibly 2040s, in my opinion. You want to go for a run, Bob? Uh, yeah, I'm tired of talking now because I know a lot of you guys don't enjoy me talking a lot. I got some very generous donations, but I'm going to get to them next episode, uh, specifically from someone that donated even last episode. <laughs> it's very kind of you guys, but I got to end this one here. So like I said, I'll get to them next episode and we'll get people working here and build a Mars, uh, okay, a Mars replica and some cool rovers. <laughs> I'll see you guys there. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.